It's cleaver time! You get our beat up for a horse. You're, you're gonna just shrug it all. all. Basically, as if enemy just get gift. Say that it's bad and good. I do like that he's going for love of haste. And, uh, because I, I think he understands fully. There is a good chance he will need actual attack speed. Simply because overpower is. The moment uh, a Shadow Demon uses Ursa. Ursa can just say goodbye to Overpower. And that is a massive, massive problem for a hero that has a really limited... Ursa relies on Overpower to actually kill damage. Uh, and stack Fury Swipes as well. So, I, I like that he's not... I really like that he's going... I wouldn't even mind if he went... A casual attack speed item later. Or... Maybe he just jumped Shadow Demon. That's also a possibility. A bit of engagement here in the middle. It's gonna be triple. The Actually, if they go for it here. Oh, nice. Low on the Snowa. They will get him decent. But with a nice skewer, uh, shockwave. And they will pull everybody a little bit back. Back enough so. Yes, disengage. But they still take triple. Bit of an early advantage already. Surprisingly, he's gonna be. I. Okay, he's. Okay, uh. That is gonna be. They do have a lot of aggressive potential. I mean, either way, it's still a really strong lane. Any Marcy lane is usually pretty okay. Hero has good reach. Ability of getting people out of spells has sidekick, extra damage, life steal, all in all should be. He's doing so well. Is there is a possibility of a solo kill? Uh, as a remnant, is that gonna be enough? Death? Okay, maybe I've overhyped it a little. Level one remnant. I don't know. Maybe it blew up a little bit early, but it felt like it should have connected. Still, Ash is gonna be fine, but Storm is gonna have a much better time in the slate. Oh, then bottom, and Jay will get away from here. The slow from CZY is enough to keep X Nova far enough away. So that NJ gets to run away, disengage, and replenish his senses. Why do you give away? What what is your dis in a way enemy the biggest meta threat? It, it is that good. Like usually uh when a hero is valued highly, uh there are answers to it ultimately, right? Oh bottom lane, CZ White has to use of play you will be able to survive because of it so oh not to me okay he just gets him low uh so when, when a hero is good at the start of the patch usually it's just because somebody hasn't figured out how to deal with fight yet but it's the end of the patch and lena is objectively absolutely freaking broken next nova won't Dyer's be able to connect on a day with the shard so a little bit further away but all in all they are convincingly winning this bottom lane. They're doing okay in other two, even though mid is suffering slightly. Once you get your bottle, I think you can't really lose mid. 
actually, Yopaj, getting down low, but so is Zoro. The uh, Remnant will not connect. Yopaj now takes a tower hit. Zoro is going on the offensive. It has one more mango. A hit and up. He'll miss. No. Second one is not going to be so lucky. It's going to be a solo kill here for the Storm Spirit. And it was with Yopaj actually getting a little bit lucky. And an uphill miss. Oh, this is beautiful, but Zoro will be gone on Dex Nova. Will block him off, and they will probably get a kill here. Zoro will get banished and should die. Yeah. Gonna be split between Zephyr and X Nova. Extra gold way. And Yopash will have a bit of time to recover in this mid lane. But that is a disaster. Good. A bit of a disaster. Maybe not like a full blown disaster. You know, still showing us that they know how to play Dota. He's still gonna be ahead. Like, he's still pressuring this lane. Hard. I'm bottom lane. They will get a Snapfire kill while also getting NG. Natsumi is just farming. He's not farming as well as Ursa. He's not farming as well as... Dire but he's still farming decent. Six. Actually chase. And waiting out the Resonant Pulse. Likely. Once it's off, I think he can go for a kill. I think it's all here. Sentry placed. He's outside of range of the Sentry. Out it out. Actually, both of them are at the range. Remnant? Magnus? Right. I mean, it happens. Yopash? Tilting. He is casting this. He should be able to just out of here. Yeah. Magnus isn't having the best. Maybe that's why they didn't go Centaur. Centaur. I don't know, like, I don't even know. Do you like playing against her or something? Oh. Not? Probably not. No melee hero really likes playing it. I amplify my impact. Oh, jump in. They'll miss the stuff from Natsumi. Now the turnaround potential is here. They jump out by CCY. Oh, that's why they put fire bottom lane. You can always jump away. Techies was also trying to jump away. Wasn't that lucky. He might have uh, been killed by the shadow poison. Probably. Stupendous! Bottom lane. They will find Natsumi. Some will connect. Ooh, it's no ball safe for the win. Oh, but Storm is coming in and Natsumi is dead. So is NJ because the rotation comes from Yohash. Cutting down CZY. Astral Mark is gonna explode and CZY is gonna die most likely. Xnova wanted to save the kill for his buddy, but I think they just win some extra time for CZY to get away. I don't think he's. Oh, maybe. Does he? No, 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 no way. No way. CZY is gonna get, die, but Yopash is paying dearly for that. They wanted to save this for, uh, for Storm, for Void Spirit. Now, though, Sora going forward. Get this photo reveal. Stun is available for Natsumi, but Void Spirit is already dead. Zoro is okay, continues to chase with a sidekick. Natsumi, though, he's telling them to sort off. And even though he died, I think he's in okay position. Not too bad for him. Ursa is accelerating for the. Magnus is doing so well. I'm surprised. Radiant's middle How come? tower is under attack. Built. Mech. Everyone is building creeps. Mech creeps. I mean, their value. White was earth. <laughs> nah. -uh. They don't really want to. They know the storm is the area, and the illusion rune doesn't really give you. It's it's a lot better than it used to, because it's now a dispel, well as a 
0.1 second of invulnerability, you can dodge things with. But it is still not like a beast. Even to generate gain run. Not be. They keep losing. Bottom lane though, X Nova. Tries to disengage. Nothing rotating in. I think they might even try for an NJ. He already used all of his abilities, so cannot really run away. Natsumi doesn't even mind using Laguna. It's pretty short. Lane. If she's a skewer to get outside of uh, effective. Middle tower so Ursa, even though he's farming, he doesn't find any extra kills. And slowly but surely, Lina will start to catch up. At least until after Ursa gets his... Uh, until after Ursa Battle Fury and like, farm site faster. If, if it's a... Thank you, Natsumi. Oh, he's gonna miss a blast off. We'll get the disarm off zone. Oh, and a stun from TZY. Got a blast to finish off. Really nicely done here. Just comboing. Form. Losing a bit of the prowess he showed us in the game. Starting to struggle a little. Can stuck. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Over here now. Zephyr. Beast Vortex. They can run up here. Yeah, they are going to run here. Oh. They can RP here. The entirety of Radiance your top tower is under attack. I mean. At least he gave us solo. Right? That's already. But this was just. And, and that's, the moment he sees there is no rune, just the Just Vortex out. Not Vortex. Well, like now. You don't stand there waiting for something. What, 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 what was he waiting for? What other thing could have happened? Him in this. He still eats a bit of damage and then gets away after baiting some mana. Spending more mana yourself. He's going in. He will cut down Zephyr. You blew it! Has limited mana himself. Quite a bit of damage being dealt by Zelusion. Should be a okay. Has 20 stick charges. To the void. And they will also find Crawl a kill on your part. Radiance oh, middle tower sound. is under attack. Going. How to play the Stekis. Radiant are scanning. Gathering yeah, up. But I think not to me, he understands. Maybe not. Up here on team. Getting to this. Because they have more Murmur's cases. Oh, and he, he knows. Xnova might die here, but it almost doesn't. All right. Mid lane, your posh. Wave. Radiance bottom tower. Suddenly, meta to max out red. I don't know. It used to be this because it, the range creep. Xnova. Oh, he's been seen. He's just dead. Warrior's Kiss is coming in through though. A lot of damage being dealt, but safe coming in. And dissimilate from Void Grid. They will be able to disengage at least on one of them. Oh, nice heal. Really timely mech usage by FBZ. And NJ jumping in. Uh, his outside kick doesn't be enough damage. Gonna get from the top. Uh, RP is not necessarily good, but it's gonna be enough. They're gonna kill NJ. They are trying for Trazam. He's gonna get cut down as well. Nice double stun from Lina. She's stunning herself. Oh, did it just. Did it just. Oh, yes, they did. They, did, they dodged. Dodge Laguna with uh, self remnant, but it's not gonna be changing their mind. They're still gonna go forward. It's gonna be a double kill for Natsumi with extra damage from Empower on all his attack speed. They're just gonna claim house. I wouldn't even say that Boom used all of their spells Dyer's well, but I, I think the way they used them was enough Dyer's to make sure has they get a victory in this fight. So you're also gonna steal the enemy stack. Not ideal. That's a stack that could have been taken by Storm several minutes ago, instead of going to the river and dying. 
Well, sometimes things happen. Sometimes you have a lapse of judgment. So mid lane is gone. Ina got double kill. Uh, they lost four. And now they are back to farming. I feel like Team Rose, Radiant's they have... bottom tower is under attack. Mechanically, every single of their players is is Dyer's actually really, really... Is under attack. Especially Zoro getting a solo kill on Yopash. Come on, it's, it doesn't happen all too often. But the problem is, as a, as a team, as, as a... Oh, Yopash. Dodges everything. Yeah. And Jato on top of Xnova trying to get a support kill, but Snowball will prevent him from doing it quickly, but they will ultimately get this Zephyr. Speed jump on by NJ, and it's going to be a double away. for Team Bro. This engagement was really good. Even though Yopash dodges uh, the initial creation? Initial initiation. What a weird... Despite that, they still managed to find the victory. Is here. They can prolong it. Okay, with this close, maybe? Uh, they're trying to chase Cookie of the Mark. I don't think they get him, regardless. Like, it's, Radiance middle it's without the shard. Maybe with shard they, they could chase, but not... Ursa should have Battle Fury. Going in. Uh, and if he's out. Under attack. He's not going to be too greedy. He's then here and try to scary. get to creep. Can't connect. He's going to trust... Bottom lane. They know something's happening here. Oh, well, leading Radiance arch. bottom tower Level is under attack. Already. Bounty. Winning. Bosh has... Ah, yeah. I'm over here! Jump in. Does he get a chance to use... Oh, they just throw everything at him. And he's just dead. No chance for him to use... But I think they're okay with Radiant them. structures are They're still farming. Farming top. Seth is pretty massive actually. Is under attack. Neck, arcane, blink. At worst. Radiance bottom tower has fallen. Void Spirit isn't even suffering all the I mean X Nova doesn't have a lot of gold. Doesn't need. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Perfect. FBZ going for TP because mid lane, they find X now once again. FBZ. Oh, tried for an RP. Will find NJ. Quartermass kisses flying out. Remnant actually off the bar, so NJ might be able to get out of here. Especially with Zora coming in. Double kill for Transam, and NJ is still alive. And Natsumi's own. He's in the fight. He's gonna get more decks. NJ, he's gonna die. Natsumi, does he get to survive here a little bit longer? He does enough for a kill, but now it's easy why. He has to run away. He's going for TP, and I think he's gonna get it, yeah. It's still an exchange that favors Boot somehow. Actually, no. It's a 3 for speed. It's gonna be kind of dead even. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. It's almost as if nothing happened, <laughs> honestly. But all in all, it, it is favoring Boom in general, right? Because they have Lina. I, I think that Ursa is an adequate response to Lina. And I think it's a really strong hero, don't get me wrong. Just Lina is overpowered. Lane? Maybe Storm could be a big factor. Storm with Aganyms. We'll get a stun off. The save is here, so... They will time it correctly, and... Oh, nice! Wardens here! They will find a kill on Void Spirit. Casing after Zephyr. I think Zephyr is dead. Yeah, I don't think he can get... Can survive here. That was beautifully done. I understand now why they give Trozam the his. Timing was Radiant's middle perfect. Tower he gets the initial start off, forces defensive play, forces defensive usage of disruption. Then you time it with the cookie, and you get a freebie, you get a free kill, you get a free road trip, and maybe even get some tempo, and maybe even the game also back up. Because Ursa is an adequate response. Can go late against this hero. 
this Urza is also farming pretty well. And since Stone Spirit now has Aegis and Invisibility as well, he can afford to go for Saya Kaya and Senj. Kaya and Senj. Uh, as opposed to BKB Rush. And that is some extra aggressive button. Extra aggressive play and more sustain in general. I wouldn't mind seeing Aghanims after BK. I think Aghanims into Blast Off into Mortimer's Kiss is a huge play they can make. And it can be devastating. They, they won't even need Earth at this point. Dyer's middle tower like if they catch three people like that, Radiant's bottom tower is under even attack. two, it, it's just they're gonna delete them. Remnant of the mark. Zora is hunting for some. Never miss. Farm, so this is a really farm. Yeah, yeah Lena. I think he's BKB. He's gonna get bailed out. Oh, even if he's BKB. Look at the damage from NJ. NJ is gonna get a double here. They tried to get Zora killed, but he's not even gonna loot Aegis. Okay. Zone BKB was a lot more powerful. And that's what we talked about, right? You, you need Shadow Demon to be in close proximity to always purge off the sidekick. It's 65 extra damage. You can't really trade with a hero that has 65 extra damage, a lot of attack speed from un and 50%, 45% of like Ursa. Jumps Zephyr. We'll get this kill. In the meantime, the gathering mid. Or almost getting his respawn back up. They will find him. Oh, nice. Nice dodge and he dodges RP. It's not gonna be enough. He's still gonna lose Aegis Trust up. So with multiple mines going forward, double stun and Rose is on top of people. That's not have his ultimate, so it's not gonna be enough. Most likely or will it? They will kill your box. It's gonna be a trade for Trazam and Zoro gets out. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Stupendous! Is getting his farm up, approaching BKB pretty rapidly, and now there is a BKB on Earth as well. Asher next, as all he needs actually has Blink, Battle Fury for farming, and Dazzling up. There's the move up. Want to attack middle lane? Oh, jump in, save Remnant. Oh, and a double, oh, double RP, double RP, and he doesn't actually have it. And the stun coming in through from Trozam. They find Zora, the door manages to get away from the bad situation, and they already killed two. Yopash, Remnant, off of the mark, Natsumizo, he wants to chase. I'm not sure if he wants to chase, I don't know why he played so aggressively. He does have four staff, maybe he thinks that he is insane, but it doesn't look like it. Yopash, scouting forward. They need to deal with this Trazam Techies. He's doing so much work out by your partner. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Radiant are scanning. Bit of an extreme. Standing here low. Maybe thinking of uh, baiting people in, but we'll just get away. Quick zip out. Radiance top tower is under attack. I mean, quick fingers here, trying to kill Trazam in return will get it off the BKB usage and an immediate TP out. But they know that the BKB is no longer available, so they can fight. They find Exnova in the river. Exnova, though, initiating the RP to follow up. Can they actually kill the Storm Spirit? They will be able to do so. A bit of a 
overextension here by Zoro. They will, they will know something's happening. Yep, your bot already running away. And Ursa has to gank the power because of... Jump in, trust up. Ooh, that was a bit too much. And they even commit more damage because the trust up might be dying here for free. With a the shockwave, they will finish him off. Now, your bot is on top of CCY. In the meantime, in the backline, they keep Ursa occupied. CCY will eat the remnants, will die. So they catch, and Jay has to use his DKB to run away. Should be able to jump out. Actually, no, he doesn't have the rebound, so he is in a really bad position. Has to fight, and now Ursa jumps in. He finds the biggest hero on the map. He finds this Lina with his DKB. So he might get some trouble himself. Revan is here. Uh, the vanish. He's not gonna last too long. Zephyr being pressured by Zoro. Hasn't Limited mana here on the Zoro Sparrow. This is for Vortex. It's gonna be enough. Ursa just eats your bush in the span of several seconds. He basically destroys him from full to zero over five hits or something. That was a bit too much. He did get a lucky bash rock. Oh, there is that, of course. I'm over here. Holding all. Fighting well on Team Rose. Showing us that Lina might not the only good carry in the map. What? On the... Didn't have the best of games, honestly. But it's a hard game. Usually Tusk is better off as a position. Or as a core, in general. It's a position fight, it's kind of hard. You just get golem every single time. You don't even have the money for blink. You don't have money for survivability items. And he's picking out that there is vision here. They can't jump you like that without... They, they need to check it. Minute and 60 Radiant seconds until... Scanning. Up. Bosh. Found out. Radiant. Checking Roche. Those disciplate doesn't know. Gaia's bottom tower is under attack. Radiance top tower. He's just gonna is try attack. and take away the control of the map. Top lane. To make some space for Rose later on. Lina is progressing, Radiance but she doesn't really have a lot of aggressive options. He's mostly preoccupied with defensive items. Oh, and then. NPC, he just gets killed. Didn't use his RP, but it could be problematic. Zoro. Will not be set up on. Actually, will be. Uh, but he's engaged on your posh, understanding fully that he cannot afford to die right now. So by the time Magnus is up, Rosh could be dead. If they just check it immediately. Rosh is in 10 seconds and Magnus is in 20. So they have to win some time on the side of Boom. Radiance top and tower that's what is under attack. Check in. Ro Three, two, DY. Ta da! Nope. It, oh, here it is. Yeah, they're gonna take it before Magnus. This is such a. They want to do something here. Actually, nothing people before it. Uh, I mean, adaptation. But they will time a stop on Xnova, they will kill Xnova. In the meantime, the Roche is already done. Uh, Zoro jumped in Zephyr, trying to kill, kill him, Xnova. I think strangely, for a really long time, hits into NJ, and at least they kind of equalize this fight. They trade one for one. It could be worse. They didn't even use RP, right? Dilzo. We need station as both just and a charge so 
Every single time you press your Q, you get um, not spot immune to that just resist, damage resist. It's 80%, Dark right? Yeah, 80% damage. Scared. It's hard to deal with that. Did they trade side? Oh, it's not. Oh, oh, jump in. They get on top of MBZ. Uh, I have to say, he's not been... I feel like his impact was kind of limited to a couple of mediocre to good RP. But not the excellent. Quite lip of average. Maybe like average hurt. Be showing us what. Freddy level. Done. It's Nova once again. No, actually, they want to trade on Zephyr. They understand it's a stronger target and they will get him killed almost even. Xnova, um, didn't manage to disengage in time, will be cut down as well, they will get rid of the vision, this ward has been here for like a while, right, Xnova pinged it out the last time he died, but they didn't deward it, they didn't have the time, Radiance bottom tower. So once again, on the same kind of vision, they, they, they are being found, they are also losing their... Radiance it's actually the first tier two they lost, though so only now can TDY take away the enemy outpost, but they are 11k ahead on Team Rose, and I think they're in a really good position. There's still a chance of comeback, don't get me wrong. I don't think it's gonna help. Any, like, not at any point can you disregard a team as it has Magnus and... RP into three people into LSA should probably kill all three people, most likely. Maybe not Ursa, but everyone else would. So it's all in FBZ. The best station B is considering he's at the top of this game for this one. But all in all, still very much playable. They try to isolate Ursa. They will get Revenant in and they can just get rid of the Aegis straight away. They will also stun NJ, but for some dropping in onto two. Your boss trying to survive. NJ is already dead. Dora is the backline trying to do something with Zephyr, but Zephyr will manage to get away with the help of the Glimmer Cave. Will be healed up by the demonic lens. And now Dora is in a bad position, but Ursa in the backline is jumping on top of Tatsumi. Tatsumi one second until he has his Hurricane Fight. Will buy back. He wants to punish Ursa. Ursa going forward. Middle tower. Will be kicked under the tower. Actually, it wasn't the kick, it was... Yeah, it, was, it wasn't the kick, it was more of a punch into Skewer, but it doesn't matter. He they still get the kill. Uh, that said, though, before dying, <laughs> he actually killed Magnus while in, in the fountain. So, they can still fight, but the state of the game is dramatic. This, this is... This is really hard. Really, really hard. They had to use two Bounty buybacks. Killing. They killed Ursa twice, sure. They got rid of the Aegis, sure. They killed Trazam. Oh. They didn't get a Storm Spirit kill. Uh, they had to use buybacks, as I said, and changing the game all the time. They still. Ooh, okay, jump in. Trazam. Oh, you're playing too much here, buddy. I, I think you're being way too greedy. But he will be bailed out. Oh, no, maybe not. Your bosh, jump in. Tremont is available. And Snowba. Get inside the snowball. And Natsumi is in position to maybe attack. Actually, no. And Jay gets on top of him with Unleash. But is the sidekick is going to get dispelled. And Natsumi is okay fighting into that. Or is he? With the Hurricane Pike, he is. He's going to destroy and Jay. Why do we fight without Ursa? Ursa actually buying back. He's going into this fight. He presses BKB, gets on top of Xnova. Xnova winning some time, making sure that they cannot follow Lina. And he will be successful in that. So. Right now, they equalized the buybacks on carries, but I don't know why they want they went for a buyback on Ursa. Honestly, I don't I don't really know why they went. Maybe if they kill Lina, they can close the game. Maybe that was like their. And I think it, it's so, it's sound, right? It, it's solid. It, it does make sense. Uh, but is there, is there is a bit of a problem here because now everything is on Radiant's the knife's edge and you no longer have this uh, overwhelming advantage. You still have an advantage, but it's not that overwhelming 
We've also used BKB on Ursa. I see Kalina has her in 30 seconds. Oh, Ursa! No way! No, 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 no! Please don't die like that! Actually, maybe he's not dying. Being yours. I jumped in by Zoro. He's getting on top of Lina, and they're just trying to destroy this Lina as soon as possible, but Ursa is in some trouble. Can he get away? There is a demonic perch on him, but it's not gonna be enough. He is gonna survive. So will Lina. Actually, if BC jumping forward, trying to find this Ursa, will not be able to do so. Shockwave off the mark. Can they do something? Not to me. Clean the house in the back line, but we're looking at Urza here, who is trying to survive. He will be saved by the cookie for a while. Has Blink in a second. Can Blink out? No, he won't have the time. And Jay by and back. Get in on top of your Posh. Bash his proc, and they will kill your Posh. Jump forward. Trying to fight MBZ. Won't be able to. Ursa, he's ready to turn. Zephyr with the disruption. They find Ursa, but he is using his ultimate, and he's on top. Not to me. Not to me. Has BKB, but it's not gonna help you against physical damage. Rose getting closer and closer to him and with the Mortimer's kisses they will finish off this Lina while FBZ oh grandma wants to kiss you but grandma is kind of blind so she won't find they killed Lina I think this is game over right could be they're just going forward they're Radiant's just pressing gas has fallen. they shouldn't be too hasty but the amount of damage currently is quite limited I think you can afford to be a little bit more aggressive honestly they decide against Dyer's it. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Searching for more kills. They're giving Lina time to respawn. And then multiple lanes at the same. They now have Abyssal on. on. That would be fine. In terms of net worth, absolutely sure. But you had a window of 40 seconds without Lina and. Uh, Void Spirit and like 120 seconds without Lina, and he didn't take a single lane. And he had three or four people alive on your team. I don't know why they didn't go for it. They're trying to play it a little bit. I'm not gonna say passively, it's uh, too safe, right? Way too safe. Going in Jay now in the mid lane. Maybe they're just waiting for the next Roshan. We're gonna know the timer in about 10 seconds. Radiant are scared. Okay. Radiant's middle tower is Imagine if it's not Orchid. Imagine if it's... I mean, Orchid is good against support. But if it is... I get him. I think it's just better. You can, you can initiate Radiant's better. Middle tower has fallen. Orchid is gonna be a little bit less relevant. A couple of minutes. Uh, once uh, we start seeing level 4 items. Here for you. They have a lot of this. Oh, Radiant's courier has been killed. They blink. Stupendous! Has BKB in backpack. This is weird. This is... Yeah, don't, don't do that. that. That could be scary. Imagine if they attack him at this time. Like, he has no BKB suddenly. Still, a lot is on him. Potion is up. I think uh, that Team Rose are better set up for it right now. Jump in. They find Nova. And Jake is gonna get stunned as well by Nova. He is already almost dead. No, actually, use a snowball. Nice you defensive yules. He will some time on Yopash. He will be able to disengage. Actually, Nova also managed to engage. The FPC is all being pressured. He's trying to bail each other out. And RP into two. They find Storm. Storm is dead. Has no buyback. And Jay might be dead as well. And Jay is dead. And they control Ursa. They control Ursa with uh, Demonic Clan, Demonic Perch. And Ursa cannot really fight. His BKB wears off. And now he is here to be wailed on by this Lina. Even with the Damage reduction is still gonna be enough, and FPC with another beautiful skewer. They will get an ultra kill on Lina. It might be a rampage, it will be a rampage for Natsumi. Dyer's middle tower what a game! Attack. What a play! Oh, that was amazing. The way they just slowly, by little, by little, they just get away from them, baiting Dyer's every single spell out attack. and waiting for this perfect RP opportunity. I think Rose made a like a general bad macro mistake when they didn't go for the game closer in the previous after the previous fight and i, I feel like rose uh, are doing the same mistake here as well they could have taken the lane 
maybe not actually. There is Glyph 1, there is Glyph 2. Yeah, I, I don't think they can thread good naked lane. So, yeah, I, I, this, this, is, this is a perk, but it was rolled for the naked lane. Second life is going for uh, Lincoln next. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. I don't even. He's incredibly close Dyer's to getting his Aghanims. Once he has it, one on Ursa, no overpower. One on Marcy, no sidekick on her. One Dyer's on Storm Spirit, and no attack. overload. Suddenly, this game is so different, right? And four staffs don't work. I mean, four staffs. That's already enough. I would assume. There's save in Snapfire. Wouldn't mind seeing maybe like uh Etherlands into offering for kind of Dyer's top be used from further away. But there is no more advantage side of the it is there, but like 2k is nothing. Dyer's top tower. And suddenly you have this new item dropping. So Thorncrafter. Yay! Orchid, Orchid, no longer useful. No, not as useful. I, I don't, like, I will insist that this should have absolutely been an Aghanim Scepter. I see absolutely no reason for that to be an Orchid. Going for a Sacred Road. And Lunifier. So he's by Glimmer Cape and Ghost Scepter, I guess. Makes sense. I mean, Nullifier makes sense to me. Orchid doesn't. <laughs> Managed to get their lead back to 3k. Oh, and kind of. But th this is a really precarious position. They were in such a commanding lead for most of this game. Just look at this. And then, boom. Striking back. Going. Can be jumped, actually. Going to the tier 1. Oh, they find Dusk. Dusk is deleted. Now they can trade an Anthony. Who uses PKB and Jay's on top of him? RP into 2 can they follow it up with something? They will get at least one kill. Oh, they will get a second kill with a second RP. And they find Storm Spirit in this position. But Storm Spirit will be able to get away. They will not find Shazam stun, but they will just kill him with the right clicks. Buyback on X Nova, and that's Dyer's actually about it. It's just both back on X Nova. They didn't even lose Aegis. They did use the refresher on Magnus, and I believe it was the shard. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. Yeah. Oh. oh no. Dyer's I was like, why is he starting the creep? Dyer's structure. Jump in by storm. Trying to cut Radiant the creep wave. The glyph is gonna come a little bit too late. They're gonna force that ABZ to the high ground. Really interesting position for him in this. And actually has a really high reach. And without the tower, even further. Storm, zip in. Uh, we'll just TP out from here. They can't really fight. Actually, they didn't TP. He doesn't have TP. Can be chased. Problem is that. has been killed. They will kill the uh, on this point. But the buildings, they can't really run away from the starting the war. Is under attack. Now Team Road, they are at full capacity once again. One minute until ages expires, one minute ten. That's a big deal, actually. Aghanim's on Shadow Demon. This game is just... Getting harder and harder, actually. Flicker. <laughs> Got it. Thought spell prism as well. Our scanning. Person is in position. He's still threatening, don't get me wrong, like he's still really, really scary. It's just plain. It's naturally easier because you get to select your targets better. You're a range hero after all, right? As Ursa, you kind of get kited more. It's a bit harder, all in all. 
Another fire now ready on store. Oh shit, jump somebody. Oh, jump in. They fight. They fight and Jade. And Jade can be RP. And they even go for solo RP. They don't mind it because now Lina, she's not threatened by anything. Oh, the Aegis expires. Yo, Bosh, getting gone on. Can they save him? They will not need to actually. Ursa is being controlled. They will now save your Bosh. Bosh can get out of here. With a dissimilate, will do so. They are going to break Ursa. They can't really do anything on this hero. He has to jump away from here. Will be broken once again. Can they actually finish him off? Yeah, with a remnant. They will find him. They will kill him. And this is going to be it from the looks of it. Ursa is 2,000 gold away from buyback. And I think in a minute 30, their throne is just gonna fall. Without their carry, can they actually fight? GG is called. Yeah, they realize they cannot. Bad item decisions. This orchid, little fire, should have been agonims. And I think they can continue fighting. They can continue. This is like, this is basically it. At least in my opinion. A lot of. I don't know why he went for. He goes for orchid 35 minutes into the game. What does it give you?